Welcome back everybody to another PGR video. Today we're talking about the S rank selector because we're going to get it pretty, pretty soon. We only have two more things to get on it and tomorrow opens up the whole new round. So we'll be able to get it definitely by the end of the week, which is going to be insane. Ladies and gentlemen, I am excited. So it's definitely something that we're going to be working on. However, we got to look at the different units that we can get from it and make a, you know, a decision once and for all, what are we picking? That's what this video is about. And uh, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you like and subscribe and join everybody else. We're having a good time over here playing PGR. It's insane, man. Okay, so as we can see here, um, we have Nanami, but all right, so here's the thing. Originally, I was thinking about maybe a character for the dark team, but we ended up just being able to wish for Luna. So our dark team is pretty complete. We have Vera, we have Luna, and we have number 21 which number 21 is an amazing unit. I feel like I can clear anything in this game with number 21. I'm just going to keep building her. She's a very good character, in my opinion. Um, so we got that done. And then for the fire team, we have Nanami, but then we also have uh, Lee, which I heard is a good option for the fire team. He's not the best. There's uh, other options. He used to be the best, but there's other options and uh, Lee's not uh, number one here. Uh, but one of the best things about him is that he's an A rank. So getting, you know, increasing his ranks is gonna be much easier than it is for other characters. Now for the fire team, I would get Liv, the Liv Imperia, I believe uh, is her name, but she's not in this specific box. Same thing with Vera Garnet, she's not in this box either, and a few other units, which, you know, unlucky, but I guess those are like um, higher tier S rank or like newer S rank characters, and then the ones that are in this are like the older ones. So that's kind of what I'm getting from it. But um, yeah, those are not in here and that's why I'm not getting live for the, like the fire team or why i'm not talking about live in this video because she's not in there you know what i mean and then there's a you know a few few other units that i haven't built as you guys can see here which um i heard that he's a pretty decent unit especially for healing and then also guys this coding makes him look dope this is clean like here i'm like okay whatever like he's a oh cool like you know he's okay his jacket's a little odd in my opinion but like this this is clean. So real quick, let's actually just look at the S rank selector and see which ones that we can get from it. So we can see here, we can get Luminance, Entropy, Ember, Tembryon, Pulse, Crimson Abyss, Veritas, I don't know how to say that, Plume, Rigor, and you know, we already have her. So out of those, we can go back and we can check, we can see, see what's going on. So first of all, uh, Luminance, we have right here, we have Luminance. Uh, we have Luna here, so that already crosses off uh, two of them. Then there's Entropy, your Ember, your Pulse. Those are both there. So another uh, Nanami. I think this is a fire tank, correct? It's a fire tank? It, uh, yeah, it's a fire tank. So uh, we already have like the upgraded version, I guess. So we won't be getting um, Ember uh, Pulse here. Uh, Ember honestly is pretty cool. She's a fire DPS, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so ooh, maybe she's on the list because my Lee's not leveled up very much, and I do like playing her within the uh, it's like the play type thing. I do like playing her in that. Okay, so this is another Lee. Is he also fire? Oh, he's 100% physical, so he would actually work with it. Luminance. Um, but I'm not really into using Luminance. Tembryon, he's a dark tank. We don't need a dark tank because we like using 21. We have six shards for him. And then there's these two. These two are probably the ones I'm really stuck on. Um, as of right now, Ember is also a contender. But right now, Crimson Abyss and the Bianca are two characters that I really am unsure about because Crimson Abyss would actually make me want to play Luminance since uh, since I believe she is a physical buffer and uh, Crimson Abyss is 100% physical. Not only that though, but Bianca works extremely well with uh, Garnet. You know, she's a lightning attacker and uh, Vera in her tank form works really well with this character. And that is a team that I want to be prepared for in the future when I eventually do get Vera. So this is a very difficult situation to be in because again, I'm not sure because I could do this in the now get Crimson Abyss, which honestly, my goodness, is very fun to play. Or I can get this character that is less fun to play, but is going to help me in the future with other teams that I want to use. You know, I honestly don't know which one. We have six fragments here. We have zero here. 
Um, do we have a physical tank actually thinking about it? Physical. Oh, is Storm a physical tank? How did I not know this? I mean, maybe. You guys will let me know if uh, Nanami Storm is a character worth building or not. Again, she is a, a rank, so giving her higher ranks, getting her a double S, triple S is much easier. Um, but that's definitely something that I would like to know. Because if she is good, then I can pair her with Crimson Abyss and uh, Luminance. And that would be a pretty good combo. We already have a decent weapon for her as well. So, you know, that would work out. But then also, you know, we could just get Bianca and be set on that. And with Bianca, I already have Lux. So with Lux, oh man, you see the situation I'm in? I'm in a difficult situation because I'm like, I just need like one character for like each team or so. And each one of those teams will be like really good. So like the, the lightning team will be really good, but also that physical team, I know I'll have a lot of fun with. The lightning team is strictly for Vera. Um, it's so I can use Vera, but I know it, once I do get Vera Garnet, I will want to play those other characters because they work so well with her. But then again, Crimson Abyss, in this moment, if I get her, I could have a full team, a full physical team, and they would be insane, you know? Uh, if you guys haven't unlocked it yet, or if you did unlock it, let me know who you're going to choose or have chosen uh, for the S rank selector. I'm very invested in this and what you guys chose because that might sway that might sway my decision as well for what I should choose. I know it's very personal for who you choose because it's specific to your account, which you need. But also, you know, I'd like to know to see if uh, the decision I'm making is good or if like Crimson Abyss is not going to be like, you know, worth it or if Bianca is not going to be worth it because new characters are coming in new patches or something like, you know, I'm unsure. I don't look at uh, the future. I look at the present for the NA, um, but I'm not against, you know, learning about the future. So like what CN is on right now. Um, but yeah, that's that's the video so far. I just want to talk about this real quick because I'm really unsure on uh, what character I'm going to choose. Uh, you know, there's just a lot that I have to think about. Uh, physical team, future proofing my account uh, or if that future proofing is even worth it. Uh, let me know what you guys say in the comment section below. Thank you guys again for all of the likes, subscribes, and the comments. You guys are helping me out tremendously. And also, I'm glad that you guys like seeing my journey because this is, you know, I'm taking this journey with you guys. Make sure you share this with your friend, your dog, your cat, your frog, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace.